Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. We are making, well I'm making dinner. Okay, so today's dinner is going to be salt and vinegar chicken. And I'm making arroz con pollo. First off, I said I'm going to put this and do this first. Why? Because this is going to take the longest. This is going to take approximately two and hours to cook, give or take. So in here I have um, chicken thighs and these are boneless because that's all I could find but they are skin on. And the first thing we are going to do to these uh, to these uh, chicken is that it's been washed. I've already washed them because yes, I was washing my chicken. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some salt. I use kosher salt um, on this. We are also gonna do some. Okay, that pepper melt is done. The other one, okay. So, we are gonna do pepper now. In this case, um, I'm gonna actually go a little bit more coarse, okay. So, pepper, and we're also gonna hit it with some oregano from my mama's garden. And I have about a, a heaping teaspoon of garlic so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in there now next is now we're gonna flip it and put skin side down okay we gotta cook it skin side down at first but we're gonna flip it and do it skin side down right now so we can flavor the other side of this i should have used a bigger pan but this is gonna shrink so okay so and we're gonna repeat the exact same thing. Salt. Pepper. Oregano. And I'm gonna put the rest of my, of my garlic. Now in here, I've got a cup and a half of white distilled vinegar and a quarter cup of water and I'm gonna go ahead and add that around the sides of it I'm trying not to get rid of the, uh, the too much of the flavor that's on top the vinegar is gonna tenderize this chicken to the point where it's gonna taste like pernil and we have one white onion you don't need to add as much white onion as i'm doing i like the way it caramelizes so we're adding one white onion now my oven is preheating at 400 and we are actually going to cook this skin side down skin side down for approximately one hour after an hour is done, I am going to remove it out of the oven, flip my chicken, now bring the, bringing the chicken skin side up. And once I have the chicken skin side up, I'm gonna bring up my temperature to 425 degrees and cook it for another hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything that I need for my arroz con pollo so I can show you what exactly I am going to be using for it. So for my arroz con pollo, I'm gonna start out with a little bit of oil. You can use oil of your choice. In this case, I am using extra light tasting olive oil. It's up to you. You can use canola, vegetable, corn, whatever you wanna use. Also, I have about half of a cup of homemade sofrito. Um, one roasted pepper, roasted bell pepper, um, chopped. A third of a cup of diced onions. I have, um, I don't know, 10 to 12 olives, a handful of uh, cilantro chops. I have um, chicken, what are we using here? We're using chicken thighs. Um, some are bone in, some are boneless. Skin removed. I don't like adding the skin to this, so I remove the skin. We're also going to be using rice, some sazon, um, and my spices. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. 
and and get this rice done so that way I can just move it on out. So in my caldero, my pot, I'm gonna start out by adding oil. How much oil? Well, I add enough because of the fact that I like the 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 pegao in the bottom, the the, the crunchy rice. So that's the reason I add enough. But don't over overdo it, you know. So we're gonna add I don't know enough to coat the bottom of the pan, I guess. Some people use butter. I won't use butter, not for this. So we're gonna allow this to start um, heating up. And while that heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sazon and grab my ingredients that I am starting with. Now, this is a one pot dish. This is something you could eat as this. You don't need no mestura for it. I'm just making, like I said, the, 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 the salt and vinegar chicken because I like it to pair it with this, but you don't have to. As you can see, it's heating up, so we're gonna go ahead and add our onions. Let the onions get started. Let the onions start to release flavor. I think that there's nothing better than when onions start to cook. The, the, the actual aroma that comes out of onions when it's cooking, I think it is bomb. It's freaking amazing. Anyway. As that's doing its thing, I'm gonna add my sofrito. A lot of people sear the chicken prior. I don't. That's a you thing. I'm showing you the way I make it. Okay, so I added my sazon. And now I am going to add my chicken. My chicken does not have much flavor of anything at all, except that I put it in the same um, container where I have prepped my other chicken. So you might get a little bit of the color from it, but that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding my chicken. It depends how much chicken you want on it. I added enough. I wanted enough chicken on there. So what I'm doing right now is as that's starting, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of oregano just to start it with right now. I'm not adding all of my ingredients, all of my, geez, all of my my spices, I just added a little bit of black pepper. Please write this down because I don't have a moment to write it down. Um, so this is my chicken. Now we're gonna allow the chicken to cook almost midway. I am going to add some water because I want, I don't want the chicken burning. So I want the chicken to cook. So as you can tell, this is just the same process as me making un asopao, except I'm not adding potatoes. Now, my roasted red peppers, I don't add that yet, nor do I add my, my cilantro yet. I wait on that. Spices, I will add in a little bit. I will add a little bit of salt now, just to flavor that chicken a little bit. So I added some salt. Again, I'm using kosher salt. And now I am going to allow this to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and get my rice and get it washed and all that fun stuff and I'll show you next. So as you can see, our chicken is doing very, very nice. Now at this point, I'm gonna add my olives. And I washed four cups of rice. And I'm adding the four cups of rice and I'm going to start stirring that really quickly. I said stir it a little bit and I haven't done anything, but we're going to go ahead and start stirring. And we're going to add water. How much water? 
Well, remember that it had some water in there already. We want the water to cover. So I added almost three cups of water right now. I'm adding my pimientos. And I'm going to add my cilantro. Now, at this point, right now, I need to start flavoring my rice. So, we're starting with comino. It's an acquired taste. I like it. Okay. I'm going to add the rest of the water. So, it'll be a, a, a total of, I added three cups. Okay, so I think already it looks amazing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and taste my liquid to see what it needs. So it needs salt, definitely, and we need enough salt because there's a lot of rice in there. We can also add a little bit of chicken base or caldo de pollo. You don't wanna add too much of it because you don't wanna make it too salty but it can take it because there's a lot of rice in here. Let's taste. Not bad. I added, so I added about half of a tablespoon, a little bit more of it, almost a tablespoon of um, chicken base. Chicken base and garlic salt, oh God. Guy Fieri. You want the liquid that you are tasting. Let me grab a spoon. Because I'm not getting the right taste here. Um, I want I need it needs a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and I'm also gonna add a little bit more pe pepper, pe 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 pepper, salt and peppers here, and we're in. So we're gonna add a little bit more salt, and now we give it a stir. And what we're gonna do here, okay? As you see it, we're gonna let this cook. It's on high flame. Um, you could bring it down to like a like a medium high and let it cook until all the water all the liquid is evaporated from there once all the liquid is evaporated this is the most important part of this you're gonna bring it down to low you're gonna stir everything really really good and we're gonna cover it for about 15 minutes until that rice is tender now you can chop more cilantro and add it right on the top and you can make some chicharron from chicken chicharron, you know, like take the skins and, and fry them and decorate it with that. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, but you can. So this is it. We're gonna allow this to cook and let it do its thing. So my rice was cooking and I actually covered it, put it on low and it is cooked. Now, one of the things that I am gonna do right this second is I'm gonna top it with some more cilantro. And I'm actually going to give this a stir, stir that cilantro in. Okay. You can see the chicken is super nicely cooked. And I'm also gonna hit it with a little bit more of those red peppers. I think the red peppers is what flavors this meal completely. Now, it is on really, really low, low heat, and I'm going to maintain it in low, low heat until we are ready to serve. So, I'm taking my chicken out the oven. It's been about an hour, and now I am going to flip it. So, I'm putting this skin side up to finish cooking. This chicken is already cooked, but you're gonna see now how when I cook it skin side up, that skin is totally 
going to crispy up completely and I am bringing my oven up to 425 and allow this to cook for another hour hour and 15 minutes or so my chicken just came out take a look at this take a look at this look look this is pork tender okay it is absolutely beautiful now we're just gonna let it rest before we serve yes so there you have it arroz con pollo with the salt and vinegar chicken and of course some maduros hello look at that maduro of course you see in the back oh that's for dessert that's in a different video so there you have it arroz con pollo done my way thanks again for spending time with me here in my kitchen don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment look if you hit that little thumbs up that's a like that's great please do so anyways thanks for spending time with me here in my kitchen god bless you all i will see you on the next video god bless bye